Esters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you to guide you and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're while you're trading this crazy market either well, up or down well listen we appreciate you growling following us out here because we wouldn't be out here folks if we didn't have all you guys gals tigers and tigresses as clients and you know the market teaches you every single day man now tom o'brien Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Replace fear with love. Be impeccable with your word. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Get rid of the fear, folks. Fear sells, man. That's the real bummer. Fear sells. Tell, say good things, you don't get any business. Say fear things, man, oh man, fear sells. Get rid of it. Muggerize, let's take a look at it out here. Dow, Dow Industrial's down 68, NASDAQ up 16, S&P's flat. Gold contract flat, trading at 18.93 an ounce. Silver up 23 cents, $27.97 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 28 cents, $69.77 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up nine ticks, trading 133.20. The 30-year up 25 ticks at 160.12. And King Dollar, King Dollar, up 41 ticks, trading at 90.118. The euro is trading out here at a price point of 121. The yen is at 109 and a half, and the British pound is at 141 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it out here. What do you have? You take a look at the SPY, bottom line, you're laying at highs. You know, we'll see how this shakes out. Bottom line, we get the 423.26 today, 423.74 uh, is the high. You're not backing off it. That says it wants to break topside. NDX100 also had a monster contraction of volume out here. Market's waiting for the CPI tomorrow, and I think it's going to be a hot CPI myself. We'll see what the market's going to do about a hot, hot CPI. Uh, bottom line, the Qs are up 52 cents. You're trading out at the 337. You know, yesterday we got up to the price point of uh, the 339 at 29. Um, see whether we can make, make the highs. My take is that, you know, we are going to make these highs. We take a look at the gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract, you get a sideways move out here today. you flat market. You're down 70 cents at this particular point. You got an inside day, 139,000 contracts. I believe we had a really good contract volume yesterday. Take a look at this. So, yeah, it wasn't bad. Yesterday's 174,000. Today's 139. So you, you don't have big buyers out here today. Silver contract, different ball game. Silver contract, um, you know, you got some juice inside the silver, and this is always cool when you do. 56,000 contracts. I think we did 74 yesterday. Let's see what we got here. So yesterday we did. 70. We did 70,000 yesterday. Now, that is saying the silver contract is pushing higher with juice, okay? That, that is saying that, guess what? You want to break topside. Notes and bonds. Now, this is a wild one, man, because this is like, are you kidding me? Um, now, <laughs> I'm, I'm bullish on the note and bond market, and I'm in the context that inflation's here, 
and I, I'm still trying to figure this out myself, you know, headwise. Okay, like how does this work? What we're going to have inflation, prices are going to keep going up, but yet rates are going to keep going down. Well, bottom line, there very well could be that much cash out there that that will actually happen. Because check this out. This is what's pretty wild. Well, first off, let's take a look at the 10. The 10 just blew away its swing point of 133.16. You're at 133.20. Bottom line, that's saying that the 10 wants to get all the way up to the 134 to 135 number. Right now, we just broke the 1.50. We're at 1.48 on the 10 year. Big number. And good old King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. Get over to King Dollar. That came down to 89,837 today. It rejected lower price. So here's the divergence out here today, which is going to be pretty cool. The way King Dollar was trading, it's like, okay, man, didn't look like you want to go higher. The way the S&Ps are trading, it's like, okay, you have no juice at the top. Looks like you want to go lower. Bottom line, it's going to be pretty wild watching how this whole thing shakes out. Um, you know, we, we were talking about the aspect, uh, you get the good old Reddit trade as well. Guess what? They finally found um, some of the commodity stocks. Bottom line, what they're out here today, Cleveland Cliffs. They're running this baby, and as I said many times, it's only going to be a matter of time, I think, before they find the gold and silver equities. The reason being is that there, there is such a small float inside the gold and silver equities they could run this thing while well, they're running Cleveland Cliffs today. Now, Cleveland Cliffs has a 11.6% shot position, you know, not big, not small, but you can see this is a run. This is, this is strictly a Reddit run, and uh, they're blowing away a swing point. Um, and they get some, let me see this on a weekly, where they get some action. The thing that, that and this is where, uh, what you're going to see, folks, okay, you're going to see changes in the, in the structures of, you know, bottom line, what they're trading, how they're trading it, because the fact of the matter is, just like anything else, these are movable markets. Um, if you happen to be in the metals market, folks, you want to be taking a look at Franco Nevada. Franco Nevada is breaking topside out here. Now, this is really cool in general um, for the metals market. This is what it is. Not quite sure someone's coming into Franco Nevada in a big way. Now, this is a big streamer, okay? The bottom line is that you get 1.1 million uh, shares. You're going into 770,000. That, that high there is the 154.16. We've hit 154.01. But if you want to see how when you push into a high with expansion of volume, you're going to break that high. And if that's what we do, you're going to see that this is going to be an ABC structure up. And it'll probably bring it to its high. Let me see. 138, 48.58. So you got 16 points, 45, 55, 65, 61. 161, I think that's probably the high. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, it's 165. So I expect what you're going to see out here is that you're going to see Franco Nevada uh, go after its highs. That's how this baby uh, is setting up right now. We're going to take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. What you have is that you've got uh, AMC is down 470. Oh, you get, see, they're dumping AMC. See, what's gonna ha what you're going to see happen here, folks, is that the meme stocks are going to change. That, that's the bottom line. It's going to go from one to a, the next sector to the next sector to the next sector. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 82. Uh, uh, NASDAQ is up 18. S&P is a flat. Let's get over take a look at uh, Newmont. There's a question out here. Uh, can you assess the risk of Newmont price due to uh, changes in the Peru government. So uh, in the Peru government, folks, uh, the bottom line is that you had election uh, and you're going to have a, a new president there. And the, uh, you know, the assessment inside the, the metals market in general for all countries, OK, is always a political uh, deal in a, in a monster way. That being said, uh, when you take a look at Newmont, though, uh, the bottom line is that they're spread out across so many jurisdictions. It's not even close. It doesn't even matter. If you take a look at their revenue, uh, what you're going to see out here is that the bottom line is that uh, Peru's not, you know, it, it, you got the United Kingdom, International, Switzerland, United States, okay? They're, it's minuscule. That's the real bottom line. If you had one mine in Peru and you thought something was going to happen, that would be one thing. But that is, that is not the case uh, in spades uh, inside of Peru. And the, the other side of that uh, is that he, I'll, let me show you. Though what does have some risk, uh, LVS. Okay, this is going to get really interesting. So Las Vegas Sands, uh, what is the other one? Uh, Steve, uh, what was the other casino? Oh, here, I can get it. One second. RV, RV. Here's where there's a risk going into the future here. Uh, win, thank you. Okay, so watch how this goes, LVS. So... This is how fast this has gone, man. I remember when they actually got the licensing. So what's going on is this. All the licensing, okay, from Macau, folks, okay, is coming up this year, okay? And this is pretty heavy. So the way that the uh, Chinese government is right now, and picture, it's hugely different than it was 20 years ago. 20 years ago, you had all the gangs that were running Macau. You had Stanley Ho was in charge of everything, okay? Um... There was plenty of land that was available in Macau to build. Now, none of that is there. The, the gangs, are, they're not gone, but they're under control, okay? You have uh, casinos, American casinos, European casinos. You have a lot of different casinos there. The bottom line is there's no more land left. And now what's going on is that the licensing is coming up for renewal. So... The bottom line is that, you know, like Las Vegas Sands, it's like 33 is game. You're at 55 right now. Let me see. W-Y-M-N. Now, 
I, I, I would say that there's no way that they're not going to make a deal. And this is why. So, Because listen what the deal is. Even 20 years ago, they got a good deal, but I suspect they're going to get a better deal now. The way that it works in Macau right now is that their rent is 40% of the take. That's how it works. I mean, that's about as cool as you can get. Because watch these numbers here. <laughs> these numbers are, like, amazing. So if I, if I break this out, here it is right there. If we break this out, you're going to see... Las Vegas Sands, okay, in the United States, they only take in $738 million. In Macau, they take in $1.7 billion. Yes, you heard that right. And let's go to win. So the difference is dramatic. And if we go to win, we do the same setup. You'll see. Oh, this, is, this gets interesting. Look at this. So the win's not even close to as big as uh, Las Vegas Sands is in Macau. Uh, when it does 747 million in Las Vegas, they do eight, 980 million in Macau. <laughs> Look at Boston, man. Boston turns into a, a field day for them. Holy cow. So, I'm, you know, being from Boston, you know, the, there's a lot of gambles in Boston and the whole area of Boston, there's no doubt. Look at that number, man. That's a big number 361 million. That is a monster number for just one city. Uh, bottom line is that, um, you know, yeah, and, and no, no reason to drive to the, uh, it was a Connecticut, right? I believe in Connecticut, and that was one of the most successful um, casinos that ever opened. Mohegan Sun, that's right, Mohegan Sun. Pretty amazing. XAU, HUI. So what do we got going with the XAU and the HUI? Uh, XAU right now, flat market out here, 159.27. Uh, gold bugs index that is running out at 306.12. In both cases, uh, bottom line, uh, the, what's kind of interesting here in both cases, like both of those actually look that they're going to basically try to pull back tomorrow. So, this is going to be pretty interesting watching this shake out. We get a couple comments in the, in the den that the, the you don't want to see. Uh, I, I like this one, Billy. You don't want to see gold stocks. Rocketing up and then rocketing down. I can tell you flat out, and I think you've probably been in there for a long time, uh, Billy, if you haven't, that's how gold stocks always trade. Always, well, when I say always trade, I can, I'm talking about the last 22 years. <laughs> that's how they trade, man. That's because they're so small. That's, you know, it, it's heaven or hell. They, and inside the gold market, bottom line, that's how they, they straighten out. They, they run in an incredible way, and then when they give it up, man, they give it up in spades and, and, and also in a big way. Let's go take a look at some of the bigger stocks out here. Amazon caught, had caught a bid yesterday. If we take a look at Amazon right now, you get a slight follow-through. Um, your swing point out here is 2.8 million. Now, yesterday we had some good volume, 3.4 million. Today you're, you're out here with the uh, 3312. Okay, so it hit uh, 3297. You're going to need more volume to break topside in the Amazon. Microsoft. Well, actually, let's go, to, let's go to Facebook first. Facebook. That's down 270. That's kind of at highs. Microsoft. That's trading sideways. Google, which did hit new all-time highs yesterday. That's hitting another all-time high today. That's up uh, $11. You're at 729 and let's see. Yeah, you're over highs, and uh, the bottom line is that you are over highs and you have volume contracting. The market itself, um, well, here, let's do this, because when I entered the show yesterday, this is telling me that the, you got an ABC structure up inside the NASDAQ composite. Let's look at this thing. So what we had here is this. You took out the swing. So 13,836. Hey, Siri, calculator. So 13,836. 13,836 is your B. 13,072. So that's 763 A to B plus. 13,538. 13,530. That's 14,300. 
and the high is 14,200. Okay, so now let's just check this again. So what we did out here is that we took out, yeah, you definitely took out the B point with volume, man. That's saying, that's saying that the NASDAQ composite also is going to all-time highs, man. So we'll see how this shakes out, man. Bottom line is that uh, A to B equals C to D, saying you're going topside. Oil, oil's going topside, too. That's my, that's my take. Oil's going to 70 bucks. Let's both pull it up. We'll pull it up as soon as we come back to get a quick break. But right now, you're at uh, 69.76. Didn't hold price today. But bottom line, your next swing point up there is 76 bucks. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down a buck thirty. Nasdaq's off six. S and P's are uh, off four and a half. And uh, so this is pretty cool, folks. We, we had a couple questions out here about what Fidelity's buying and selling. Now check this out, okay? So the first question, the CVX was. Fidelity uh, buying um, Chevron, and actually they're selling Chevron. But I want to show you something here, man, because this is pretty cool. So we pull up Chevron first, and, if, and when you look at it on the left-hand side, uh, first let me just hit this button. And remember, folks, if you're watching Tiger TV, it's they're, they're all archived, okay? So if you pull it up, you're going to see 6-8. Bingo, right there. Fidelity, 1.9 million shares. 
they're dumping, okay? They, they own 8.3 million still. But now watch this. I just pulled up ExxonMobil, and they're going after ExxonMobil. We pull up ExxonMobil, and you're going to see just the opposite. Um, there it is, right at the very top. Look at this one here. Very top, 15 million shares yesterday. They had 89 million shares. Now, if we look at Exxon, well, it, they all look pretty good, actually. That's the real bottom line. If you take a look at these, what you're going to see is this, is that you got Exxon, the, the high there is the 62.55. It's trying to break topside. We put this on a weekly, and, you know, we'll see what it can break. You know, it's going to need, it's going to need more, more juice right now in order to break, but it's not, it's not up at that, to that level yet. If you break and you go topside, then you're going to get some juice up to the 71, and right now you're at 62. So you're talking some big numbers. Um, the question is, that do I think that the market is going to basically go up uh, until uh, July 4th? Yeah, this is where my head's at. So check this out. This, this, is, this, is, this is wild in general, okay? <laughs> Trust me. Okay, so if we look at the cues, okay, um, well, here, let's go to Gary in Buffalo, uh, Michigan first. Hey, Gary, what's going on, brother? Okay, hey, uh, Tom. Uh, great to talk to you direct. Um, and, you know, I'm a big fan, and I've been a subscriber of everybody there. And um, I'm the macro guy, and you guys yes. have taught me a lot about trading, and I still don't get it. But I am a macro guy, and I've been following three guys. I'm going to send you my email I put together for some of my people. Um, uh, more on a contrarian view. Uh, the whole idea that deflation is the re reality here coming up uh, more than the inflation, uh, and that comes from Lacey Hunt and uh, Stephen Van Eater and another guy named, um, um, you know, that I follow quite a bit is Jeff Snyder, Alejandro. But anyways, the bottom line to it is if that's the case, you I, mosaic I got when I was with you on the uh, newsletter and then your uh, IPI. What happens, though, with the fertilizer stocks? I know commodities could get hurt tech typically, correct me if I'm wrong, um, if there is deflation, um, as well as some other sectors. If deflation if comes, happens, every, happens? everything goes down. Deflation is like a horror show. Is Sorry, even the grains and stuff like that? If yeah, there's a, a, I mean, deflation... Okay. It is like the horror show of horror shows for people, for governments, for the feds, for everyone. I mean, that, that, that's how it works. Well, I get that by having been in, you know, a mayor of a small town or city. But, you know, I, I get that there's going to be problems if that's the case. So, so I, I, are you in a deflation camp? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, basically, these guys, I've been following them especially. I love all three of them. But, yeah. Um, and that's why I, I'm, I don't know. You guys know the timing because you know the charts. But I've been short. To, I mean, I've been long the TLT for th uh, two months. You know, okay. I've been. Um, you know, I, I've been, I'm actually short the housing, which I know is a contrarian thing. Uh, that was all on my own. Nobody <laughs> gave no, me that one. You. But having been in real estate and just anticipating what's going on, if this really is a deflationary point of view. But I was curious how that would be affected in the. Um, you know, because the grains are more affected with this drought, and maybe if that's more of an issue where they might actually still continue up. Or are they going to get hurt, like the IPI and the um, Mosaic, just in general? You're saying if we're in deflation. Yeah. It, yeah if we're, a, that's my know, point, Gary. If we're, if we're in deflation, yeah. everything goes down. Everything. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just well, like I'm in curious. inflation, everything goes up. Right, right, right. Well, yeah. I lived through the 70s like you did, too, and that's when I started in real estate. I, I'd, be very, <laughs> I'd be very careful about the aspect that you or they think that deflation is here. Deflation, I, I can totally understand why we got here, because I remember when China opened and everything got less expensive, okay? But everything is expensive in China right now. So where is the deflation going to come from now? It comes from a liquidity trap and basically the way quantitative easing works, and it's, it's in my little... Piece I'm going to send you. No, 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 no you don't there. have to send it to me. I, I get plenty of letters. I, I understand what their thought process is. My, my take is that it's like they're so far off, it's insane. Okay. You know? Okay. And, 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 cool, man. Okay, brother.
Have a, have a great okay, one, man. Have a safe well. one. Okay. The, um, and what, what, you know, it was interesting. We just brought up the, the aspect of the 20-year uh, the with uh, Shanghai with Macau opening. What happens, folks, so, so picture here. Let me, let me give you an idea. In fact, I'll get to the right numbers. I, I was talking with China this morning because I'm bringing in a bunch of stuff, still bringing in a bunch of stuff. Folk, it, whether it's containers or shipping or in general, it is not, you're not dealing with the same type of numbers that we were dealing with last year or five years ago or ten years ago. It's not even close, okay? The bottom line is that things are more expensive across the world. You don't have... You still have a few countries, and more so, a lot of these countries are actually going to turn into South America. Um, but the difference is, is that in South America, you're not going to have the production capabilities that you actually had in China when this first thing started. So the bottom line is that I, no matter which way I keep looking at it, we're paying more money. That's the real bottom line. And I get that the deflationary deal on a longer-term basis um, I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it at all. Now, can, does the dollar buy less? Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, and what does happen with, with folks that have, can, you know, that, okay, it's going to be deflation forever. It, yes, the, the dollar is going to be worth less money. There are no two ways about it. Listen, growing up, milk, bread, and cigarettes used to be 98 cents. It's probably $20 right now, you know. 50 years from now, the bottom line is that it's going to be $100, okay? You know, that, that's just how it goes. That's just, you know, all you have to do is compound 2 to 2.5% two a year, and, you know, you're, you're in great shape. <laughs> Meaning that prices are going up. There's no two ways about that. Uh, you know, what we're going to see tomorrow, the thing that's going to be really intriguing is that what the CPI is, because... What we have now is that we have inflation inside of wages. That's out there. It's not going to change. It's going to get better. Um, and I think it's going to accelerate. Dow, Dow Industrials right now are down uh, 123. You get the NASDAQ flat. S&Ps are down four. We're not backing off. That's the real bottom line. You're not backing off those highs. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm Orion. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down a buck 32. You get the NASDAQ off 10. S&Ps are off five and a half. Let's go over to our guest. Uh, guest today, folks, is Bob Lasher. Bob is the external affairs officer for the PSTA. Now, the PSTA, folks, is the Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority. That's our public transportation in Pinellas County. Pinellas County, uh, you know, nice county, no doubt. Uh, Bob, welcome to TFNN. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. So uh, this is a little unusual that we have a, a PSTA on, on a financial program, <laughs> but I thought this was really important because every city, I'm originally from Boston, been down here 25 years. Every, every city, you know, if you're from a city, public transportation is awesome, man, when you're used to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what you guys are doing now is really, uh, well, I'd love to bring the audience through it. Tell us about the Sun Run and how it's going to go from St. Pete all the way down to the beach. Yeah, this is uh, unlike anything we're going to see in the Bay Area. Starts at the pier, uh, goes down by USF and uh, the, the uh, medical centers, then uses First Avenue north and south going out all the way to Pasadena, uh, through Pasadena into St. Pete Beach to the County Beach Park. And a lot of it on north and south, uh, First Avenue's north and south, will be in a semi-dedicated lane for buses and then cars and trucks, whatnot, making turns. The buses are going to have level boarding. You're not going to have to step up. You can roll on with your bikes. You can roll on with wheelchairs and mobility aids. Really? Wow. Yeah. And we're we're going to have tap on uh, tap off fares. Okay. So that means when a bus stops, people are going to get on and off really quickly. And around the world, we've seen that when you have a, a, a bus where people are paying fare cards or cash, that's what really slows down the route. So we've taken that pretty much out and, and made it so that these things are only going to have a stop every mile and people will get on and off quickly and, and keep going. So, we should cut the travel time from, a, say, if you were using the current bus system, by at least 30 percent. And that's going to rival. I mean, we're and uh, we'll also have some priority at lights. If we're running a little behind, we'll have a signal to the lights that will hold the green for the bus and let it go through the light a little bit longer to keep it on time and to keep it consistent so we can show people in the cars, hey, this is a nice alternative, particularly for people who are want to enjoy themselves. I mean, there and are... You know what is, is, am, is amazing, uh, Bob, when you, when you actually go over the the structure and folks, I have the I have the page up and we have the link on. We're talking about every 15 minutes during the day and what every half hour at night. So you're, you're talking about like, a, a, I mean, that's a consistent uh, deal going back and forth to the beach or the beach coming back and forth to uh, St. Petersburg. Absolutely. And, you know, the first time we'll be able to get a lot of these second and third shift workers back and forth to the beaches and we can get the, the people from the beaches and from the west in to a raise game and then they can be there long enough to see the ninth inning and then we can take them home again. Uh, you know, public transit's relying on funding everywhere in the world and we just haven't had the funding to run some of our services late enough to serve uh, the Rays and, and other organizations, but we've got some good federal funding for this one, and it's it's exciting. It definitely is exciting. Now, the second part of this, folks, which is really huge, no matter what city you're in, and just pay attention to this because it's really cool. 
You know, cities are turning into walkable deals. Everyone wants to walk. So talk to me about the aspect, you know, when you, when you look at the second part, the discussion that you've had with the community, that any part of the community, and what has happened in St. Pete, folks, is that they're, changing, they're going to be changing the zoning. There's a, there's, a, there's a plan, the 2050 plan. They're going to be looking at the zoning, and then they turn around and look at the PSTA, because the bottom line is that if you live close to it, the bottom line is zoning can change. So the, the texture of housing is going to change from the 1st Street going all the way down to the 7th Street. So talk to me a little bit about that, because I thought... You know, when you put this together, Bob, it, it's really a lot more than just public transportation. It's really the aspect that, let's say, if me or you are 16 years old growing up, great, I can get a job at the beach. I can jump on there and go make some money, man. Do you know what I mean? You absolutely hit the nail on the head. You're right. It's a lot. It's going to be a whole lot more than just a new transit line. We have been already out meeting with all kinds of community leaders uh, as broad as we can to get their input as well as residents of what they want to see along this line. When we have a station and we start to see development around it, we want more people to be in the area to make it nice and walkable, like you said, make it an easy walk to and from the stations. But we also want to make sure that what goes in there and what happens fits with the local community. Uh, we don't want to lose any neighborhood charm. We want to be part of it. We'll even have uh, the shelters will have dedicated special art that was been designed for each neighborhood along the way. So the Sunrunner Rising study that we're working on right now, last week we just launched our new web page, is all about that. Yes. It lets people get into the, the line itself, look at where the stations are, and then you can drop a pin. It opens up a little bit of a box and you can put in whatever you want to see. Do you want to see, say, instead of single family homes, maybe duplexes or small apartments? Yes. I mean, it's not like we're going to want to take downtown St. Pete and plug it in along the line. That's that that wouldn't make sense. But we want to allow a little bit more density, make it easier for people to live around these stations. But we don't want to change the neighborhood charm. And, and that's kind of the key. We're, we're looking forward to that. And we want to hear what the public and our developers working with them have to say, because they're looking at this, too, seeing their opportunities. Maybe further out where we're nice and close to the Pinellas Trail, somebody can put in, hey, how about a bike share here? Yes. So you can get off this and grab a bike and go onto the trail. And that's the kind of things we're looking for with this uh, Sunrunner Rising web page and study. Well, listen, you, you've done a, a great job uh, thus far, no doubt. <laughs> and I, I know it's not easy uh, going, you know, we're, we're talking to folks. First, you have the county, then you'd have the different cities. When Bob and his team have to deal with different cities, it's pretty <laughs> intense, right? <laughs> it can be. Uh, you know, we, uh, we're pretty proud of the partners we've had. You, I mean, should, been, you should be proud, man. Good. I mean, as I've gone over this, um, you know, the... I've been in the finance business a long time, but <laughs> growing up in Boston, my father put me on um, the streetcar when I was five years old, right? Got me to the boys club. That was the beginning of me shining shoes, man. That's the bottom line. It, it gives it, Public transportation gives people freedom, and they can do what they want with it. And, uh, you know, in my particular case, I think, of, it, 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 listen, I've seen people say it works great. That's the real bottom line. And that's what we yeah. we. It's great what you're doing, and in Florida, we don't have enough of it. That's that's the bottom line. And this is a, this is a great start, man. This is a great start. And you're 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 dead on. That's right. Because even though uh, cities like St. Petersburg were built around transit, the old streetcar, yes. which went away in '49, um, most of Florida has been built up after World War II when we had a very car-centric society, and now we're starting to see the benefits of being able to come back and offer alternative to to single occupancy vehicles and giving people a chance to step on something that's really a lot more convenient. I, I am a bus rider. Some of my routes are once an hour. And that, you know, that's a little nerve wracking if you think, gee, if I miss my bus, I'm an hour late. Well, Seriously. Every, yeah. Every 15 minutes. Oof. So say you're you're staying at the trade winds and they have a, a deal with us where they're employees and, and um, guests ride free. Yes. Hop out, show your ID, hop on this thing every 15 minutes. You're good. Huge. Well, listen, thank you so much for all the hard work. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> Love to have you again. You can give us an update in a few months from now. Anytime. Be my pleasure. Thanks, Bob. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You too. Thanks. Thank Bye. you. Stay right there, folks. Come on back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at dfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down a buck 36. You get the NASDAQ off eight. S&Ps are off five. We get the CPI coming out tomorrow morning, and the bottom line, folks, is that we're going to have a hot CPI. Uh, the, the real question is, is that does that mean that the market wants to go south? Well, we'll find out. Uh, bottom line, even if it does go south, and this is where my head's at on the larger portion, folks, even if it does go south, guess what? It's going to be a temporary blip, and we're going north, okay? Uh, because, and that's what inflation does. That's, that's the real bottom line. So we'll see where this shakes out. The wild card out here, no doubt, um, is that, like, how do we do that with the note and bond market still going up? And now this is how we do it. Because the, the stock market has gone up so dramatically in the last six years, you know, we used to hear a lot about the aspect that all these pension funds are underfunded. Well, the majority of pension fund is, funds now are funded. So what that means is this. As they do their reallocations, okay, they don't have to take the risk in the aspect of making the 6 to 10 to 15 percent per year. What you're going to see, and this is, you're going to start seeing this ASAP, you're going to see as they start moving out of the equities, they're going to buy more bonds. So I can, I can see in that context how the note and bond market can stay up, stay stable, and in fact, higher prices are coming at you because what you're going to see is that some of the pension fund managers are going to want to take less risk, and a less risk, no two ways about it, 
is in the note and bond market. I'm not talking about the bankrupt bond market or the high yield market. I'm talking about, you know, corporate AAA bonds. Bottom line is that you'll make less money, but guess what? You know you're going to get your money back. It's, it's a huge difference. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything we need, folks, is right inside us. Have a blast with it. Tell your friends about TFNN, please. Tell them to go to YouTube. Subscribe. It's free. Come join us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. CP's out, eyes out tomorrow morning. We're going to have some action. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Yeah! Look at them, folks.